Good morning everyone, welcome to the Pause Program YouTube channel. Today I'm going to read a story to you about the three key parts of the brain and the animals that are linked to those three parts to help us understand them. Meet the three key parts of the brain. <clears throat> you are about to meet three friends who work very closely together one of the most important, in one of the most important parts of the brain. Do you know what that part is? Is it your head? Is it your shoulders? Is it your knees? Is it your toes? Is it your eyes? Is it your ears? Is it your mouth? Is it your nose? No, it's your brain. Your brain lives inside your head. It has so many different parts and they all work very hard. Now we are going to learn about the three important parts. They are called the prefrontal cortex, the amygdala and the hippocampus. To help you remember the big names of these parts of the brain, we are going to link each of them with an animal. Meet Wally, Gabby and Ellie. Wally is the wise old owl, representing the prefrontal cortex. Gabby is the guard dog, representing your amygdala. And Ellie is the memory saving elephant, representing the hippocampus. Wally the prefrontal cortex is a wise old owl. Wally lives in the very front part of the brain called the frontal lobe. Wally makes smart choices, solves problems, and does our thinking. Gabby, the amygdala, is the guard dog. Gabby lives deep in the center of the brain called the temporal lobe. Gabby is responsible for our behaviors and our emotions. Ellie, the hippocampus, is the memory saving elephant. Ellie lives deep in the center of the brain called the temporal lobe as well, which is very close to the amygdala. Ellie is responsible for forming, organizing, and storing our memories. These three animals love to work and play together. Wally loves to sit up in his tree and think. Gabby loves to sit in her kennel and have fun. Ellie loves to chat with her friends and say things. Now, sometimes Gabby doesn't feel so good. She gets upset and begins to bark. When this happens, Wally flies away. He doesn't like it when Gabby barks. Ellie is left alone and now has no one to talk to. This is a big problem because when Wally flies away, the thinking part of the brain doesn't work. This means the brain can't think, can't solve problems and can't make smart choices. It also means that Wally can't talk to Ellie and sends the information um, and sends the memories that the brain is learning to Ellie to be stored. What can the three friends do? Do you have any idea what they can do? Gabby needs to calm down. Gabby needs to do one of the following things. Take three deep breaths, have a drink of water, or go for a walk. Once Gabby has calmed down, she goes back into her kennel. Then Wally flies back, sits in his tree, and talks to Ellie. Hello, Ellie. Glad I'm back. Hello, Wally. Glad to talk to you again. When the three friends are working together again, the brain is balanced and ready for learning and playing. So if you notice that your amygdala, your Gabby guard dog, is coming out in your brain, remember to take three deep breaths, have a drink of water, or go for a walk. This will help your prefrontal cortex, your wazzy, wally, wise old owl, to stay in his tree so he can make smart choices, solve problems, and think. And also talk to your hippocampus, your Ellie memory-saving elephant. Thank you for listening to my story. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps.